What is this? It's a surprise. What kind of surprise? You know what's in it. It's a surprise from Crave Bakehouse. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to Can it. I open this now? You absolutely can. So our Bring neighbors... desserts and... Our neighbors reached out to us. Okay, what do you mean neighbors? This is Crave Bakehouse. Nice. They're actually a Florida company. Okay. They're in Mount Dora, Florida, which we were right next door to them when we visited Coruscant. Look at that. Didn't even know it. Hello, I'm what you've been waiting for. They have. They are what we've been waiting for because they are a keto baking company. Okay, it says, I'm fresh and freezer ready. Store in the freezer bag or covered container. Defrost in the fridge overnight or on a counter for 30 minutes. They have donuts, biscuits, bagels, and pizza. I'm excited. So enjoy them at room temperature, chilled or microwave for the donuts and the biscuits and bagels. You can slice and pan serum. And then of course, pizza. And all the nutrition facts are on their website, which we have up there. And you can go to their restaurant. So this is donuts. This is donuts. They sent us six different donuts. They've got matcha pecan, strawberry top tart, banana bread. Oh. 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 Lemon poppy. There's also blueberry top tart and a fudge strawberry chocolate okay, chip. Okay, well that's gotta be that one. That's the one I'm that's trying. That's gotta be lemon poppy. I'm trying this that's one. That's probably strawberry. Yep. Here's obviously the blueberry. That is amazing. That's gotta be banana bread. And then what is this one's gonna be? Probably the pecan, Yeah, the right? pecan. I would say the mock-up pecan. Ooh, I kinda want them all. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna be trying to We're be We're gonna good. try a couple of them. Where are we going first? I am going right into this fudge strawberry chocolate chip. Cause there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Okay, well, let's do this. Let me grab the phone here. Ooh, look at that. It's very moist. Sorry, it, kids. It does look moist. Wow. Give you the fudgier part. Thank you. I'll take a little piece of fudge over here. Mmm. Oh, wow. Wow. That is strawberry all the way through. Mmm. Mmm. Really good with coffee. That is good. Wow, that is... Strawberry? Oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of like... And the chocolate, it's almost like a chocolate covered strawberry. Yeah, but the chalk, the strawberry, it's not like a, a jelly donut kind of mm -hmm. strawberry, but it's got that good flavor. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I, I can't even explain it. Okay, that is really good. Where are we going? Um, oh man, I'll try one I, more. I don't feel, I feel like we don't need to try strawberry at all. We just try to strawberry. It's gonna be very similar. Either a blueberry or one of or no, this let's, guy. No, we gotta dig into banana bread. I'm telling you, we gotta just try little tiny pieces of these. Like you can't like, you're gonna leave them on the table. <laughs> Here, if we just do small pieces, then we can try them all. It smells good. And we can pick at them, right? Mm. That is really good. That, that is really good. Yeah. I'm not getting a lot of banana. I like this one that better. That one's got more flavor. Let's try one more. I want to do the blueberry. I honestly. gotta do a lemon. I'm doing blueberry. Well, I'll, we'll try the blueberry. Take a little piece of lemon. Look at that little tiny piece no, there. I'm going to do blueberry. Well, fine. I'm going to do that one. Go for it. Oh, you got to try lemon. Mm, you got to try blueberry. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to try that blueberry. You got to try Take a little. Here, look at that little piece. You got to try that. He's so bad. That's the best. That is the best. Mm -mm. Fudgy strawberry. But you strawberry is the best. I'm not a big blueberry fan, and that's good. They nailed it. All right, you wanna do five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? I'm telling you, that lemon, if you like lemon poppy seed bread, 
that, I feel like I'm eating lemons. Like it feels like there's juicy, I'm gonna another piece. There's juicy pieces of lemon in that. It is very fragrant too. Like yeah. the ingredients that they're using. I mean, I'm interested to see the ingredients. Yeah. So good. We will not be sharing these with anybody. Oh, no. I will slowly put them in the freezer and pick on them over the next month. Yep. Okay. So let's go up. So all their nutrition facts are on their website. Which I love. So we're going to go to the ingredients. I'll put their website down below. Now, we are not affiliated with them at no. all. No. So it looks like, so for the donuts, they do have, they have cinnamon sugar, almond joy. Wow. Well, where's that one? <laughs> Fudge nuts, lemon poppy cake, blueberry um, top tart, banana chocolate That's chip, what that one banana was. bread. Which it wasn't bad, but it, I didn't get a lot of banana flavor to that one. Strawberry top tart, we didn't try that one. Cookie crumb, double chocolate chip, uh, maca pecan, we didn't try that one. Orange coconut, oh! <laughs> Peanut butter cup. Ooh, I wish we had that one. Then they have everything bagels, uh, cheddar, cheddar hot, habanero. habanero, robust peppercorn, garlic mozzarella, and then, they, and then they have the fudgy strawberry chocolate chip. Definitely my favorite. Okay, so let's. that's got to be the worst one. I'm going to assume. You mean carb-wise? Carb-wise, ingredient-wise. So let's go right there. So we're going to go to that one. The ingredients are egg, organic coconut oil, natural sweetener, which is stevia and erythritol, Lily's dark chocolate premium baking chips, Wow. organic coconut flour, strawberries, cocoa, almond flour, xanthan gum, baking powder, and natural flavors. And salt. And salt. That's incredible ingredients. Okay, so that's cleaner ingredients than most people use in their house. Seriously. <laughs> that that is some super clean ingredients. Let's that's pick a amazing. let's take a look at a couple more. Where's that lemon one? Yeah. Where's you that, love that lemon one? one? Um poppy seed. Lemon poppy crumble. Okay. Egg. So lots of egg. Organic coconut oil, natural sweetener, which is stevia and erythritol, organic coconut flour, almond flour, poppy seeds, lemon oil. Baking powder, xanthan gum, citric acid, and salt. Wow. I can definitely tell they're leading with egg. It is an eggier muffin. It's really moist. Let's but get I'm into not number upset two. about that. Let's talk about number two. While we're up here on top, does it keto based on a nutrition label? So here's the lemon poppy cake one. Okay, so um, a serving is one whole donut. Yes. I'll take that. 340 calories, 31 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, 7 total carbohydrates and four fiber. So if you're doing net carbs, it'd be three. No, wait, the sugar alcohols, look at that. Uh, okay, so. 12 sugar alcohols. Okay. Now, I'm gonna say this, a serving is one donut. A, you can absolutely get away with a half of a donut. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, no kidding, like, it is so dense and so filling you're gonna be satisfied eating a half. Like even if you're like not us and we're gonna split it, well, I mean, you're gonna be satisfied with a half. 31 grams of fat. Right. I mean, so, it's gonna fill you up. So let's get into, so they're taking the sugar alcohols out. So I don't like that. You'd rather I'm just I'd rather, have it in. I mean, listen, total carbs is total carbs. Total carbs is dietary fiber and the sugar alcohol in there and let me pull it out. Now I know if you go over to Europe, they pull the fiber out, but we're not in Europe. We're here in Florida. And I would prefer that on their nutrition facts, and if they're listening to this video, since the nutrition facts, you don't have a label printed and it's on your website, please change that. Because it's really 19 total carbs. It's 19 total carbs, four grams of dietary fiber and 12 grams of sugar alcohol. With that being said, I like that. Yeah. Because I have always said I am opposite of a lot of people. Some people are like, take the sugar alcohols out, leave the, you know, leave them in. When they do net carbs in some people, like nobody ever says like, I want to do net carbs, but like always count the fiber. I am, if I'm going to do net carbs, I am more likely to say, I don't care about the sugar alcohols because I know they're not going to affect me. But I always care about the fiber because too many products, not this one, this is the fibers coming from coconut flour and almond flour. Right. But... I don't want to take the fiber out. I'd rather you tell me what's the total carb, 19 in this case, and then I'm going to take out the sugar alcohol, which now makes it seven. Yeah. Does that make sense? And I'm totally which fine Which is with how that. they're doing it, but I don't want you to do it for me. I Let me do it myself. Yeah, because it can get a little bit that's confusing. Because you're going to have a total carb person like us who they're just going to go right to total carb seven, like we did, mm -hmm. and be like, oh, it's good, but it's not seven. It's 19. 
Right. Right? And now, again, I'm okay taking the erythritol out, but some people aren't. Some yeah. people want that total, total, total carb. Yeah. And again, always, if you're doing net carbs, put a total carb cap so that you don't eat like five of these in one day. Because you totally could because they're delicious. Yeah, because they're only two net carbs. Per or donut. three net carbs. But the lemon is two. Let's look at one more. Let's go to the worst one. It's got to have to be the worst one. Because it's the most delicious one. Fudgy strawberry chocolate chip. Yeah, so you're looking at 28 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, actually less fat, uh, 11 total carbs, but then when you add the sugar alcohol for the real look at 25. total carbs, you're looking at 25 total carbs and then five dietary fiber. Which is going to make it, what, that's going to be six net carbs per donut, which again, I figured is the worst because you got strawberry and, it's so and you got chocolate. So those two things. What was the other one that we really liked in there? The blueberry one was awesome. The blueberry. So blueberries usually has less carbs than strawberry. So there we go. So 24 grams of fats. 280, 280 calories. calories. 10 grams of protein. Eight total carbs. The sugar alcohols are 12. So you're going to have 20 total carbs, four dietary fiber. So really you're looking at four, four net, net carbs, carbs, eight yeah, total carbs. Or, or 20 total carbs. Well, depending on how you count right. it. So, so not bad. And again, I feel like you're going to have no problem eating a half of one. Yeah. Right? So number three, how do they taste? They're delicious. Home baked. They taste home baked. And I will say, I, I almost hate to say this, but it's honestly the truth. It is the best bakery donut cake that we have been sent so far. I mean, we've been sent a lot. Yeah. And uh, some of them we didn't even want to eat. Like we looked at the ingredients, we're like, no. No, thank you. And uh, th this is a cake donut. I do want to get that across. This is yes. not a Dunkin' Donuts like fried donut. No. This is a cake donut, which I like cake donuts. Growing but up, my favorite was those chocolate ones. But right? you have to have, like, you have to like a cake donut. Yes. If you don't like a cake donut, you won't like this. Yeah. So I think they taste incredible. More like a coffee cake. Yeah. Than that's a, a donut. That, that's, yeah, because it's got that crumb on the top. Yeah. yeah. So number four, how much do they cost? Let's head back up here to the website. We're going to go to the main menu. Yeah, right? Anytime something is good. This okay. good. Okay, so let's go right down to, because they have a bunch of different things. Pick your own variety dozen. Okay. It's $56, which but, is not bad. So what does that come out to be? That's like about, that's a little bit less than $5 a donut. But. Then you get a you free get pack. You get a free half dozen of chocolate pecan. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. A free half dozen, get a free pack of maple and chocolate pecan. So three maple and three, three chocolate, chocolate pecan. pecan. And then they also have that, ooh, where you get three peanut butter and jelly ones. Mm -hmm. PB and J, I'm assuming is PB and J is peanut butter and jelly, right? Yes, that, I think you can get your hopes up. Go uh, ahead. Peanut butter and jelly and three chocolates. So you're really getting 18 donuts for, for $56. $56. And for the first 12, you can choose Whichever Anything you want. you want. Like you can get three of one and one of another. Like you literally are going to go down this list and you choose every single donut. There's the whole list of donuts and you're going to choose. You can even put a couple bagels in there. Like you can get eight donuts and three bagels. And a robust peppercorn. So I really like that. So 56 bucks is going to get you 18 donuts slash bagel combination. However nice. you want to do that. The yeah. only thing you can't pick is the six free things. I'm I'm okay good with, with it that. because it's not like they're sending you like sardine muffins as your free gift. I am pretty impressed with those prices. I really am. They were very proactive with it looks like shipping is $8.95 or $4.95, depending on like how much or little that you order. But it was prompt. I mean, it came FedEx. Yeah. So it was there the next day. It's kind of weird. So they do have a pick your own variety dozen. It is $54. For the dozen, so for two dollars more, you're getting those extra six. Uh, I will definitely be taking that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It says three PB and J are only sliced donut filled with peanut butter, and our house made strawberry jam. Strawberry jam, yes. Topped with roasted nuts. Not great. Peanut butter and then more jam. And now we're gonna have to look at this. So a serving is one. At 270 calories with 22 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, 10 total carbs, mm -hmm. 5 grams of dietary fiber. And then they're not even listing any, sugar, any alcohol sugar alcohol listed on that. I don't know why, but 
Um, wow. But yeah, that sounds delicious. We will be driving over to Mount Dora. So number five. Would we recommend that? I definitely would. In fact, I recommend you get your car keys and we take the two and a half hour drive over to Mount Dora to get more stuff. Two and a half hour. I feel like we might be able to do that in like a half hour. Depends on- you open this thing? How hungry you are. Oh, okay. One more little bite. Oh. Close that up. Yep. Put that away. Oh, <laughs> wait. That's the banana bread. Oh, no wonder that the maple one had not very much okay. banana bread into it. Take back everything we said before. The banana has banana flavor. <laughs> Good job. Our bad. Absolutely. We would recommend these. I think they're delicious. Definitely going to be worth the two hour drive over there. Let's book a camping trip right now just I, so we can go there. It's a plan. Let us know down in the comments section if you've ever had any delicious baked keto goods. Also, let us know what you think would be the best flavor. I really want to try that peanut butter and jelly one. Me too. So. Now, we have a whole playlist of some other product reviews, which I'm going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we taste something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.